Hey, it's Jag. Today I'm going to build a quick and dirty uh, circle jig. Yeah. So I'm working on the DIY CNC pickup winder and uh, I need to make uh, the plate for the bobbin on some black acrylic. Um, I don't have a circle jig. Normally um, I would just put the, uh, the, the, the cut layout on the acrylic and just cut it out with a jigsaw or on the bandsaw, sort of freehand it and get it basically round. Because this is going to be on the winder and will be uh, spinning at fairly high RPM, um, I want it to be as balanced as possible. So I want to make just a quick and dirty circle jig uh, and uh, cut that acrylic as, as close to perfectly circular as I can. I've looked around through all of my, uh, my uh, materials and uh, I found a couple of uh, oak runners uh, that will fit in uh, the miter slots on both sides of my um, bandsaw. And I'm going to use uh, an offcut piece of the shelf uh, that I uh, used for making the platform and cabinet for the uh, winder. I've uh, brought the fence for uh, the bandsaw right up to uh, this runner. That's where I want the, uh, the, uh, the piece of wood to, to extend to on the table. And that leaves me about uh, 16 and a half inches uh, out on the other side of the blade, so I could actually, <laughs> I could actually do a 32-inch circle uh, on this jig if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that, uh, but I'm also not going to make this as a throwaway jig. I want to be able to use it if I ever need to do other uh, circles. Uh, basically, I don't think I'd ever cut circles much bigger than 12 inches, and this will handle that easily. The diameter of the uh, plate for the bobbin uh, on the winder is only five inches. So I really only need to come out two and a half inches here to make that circle. So like I say, I just looked around, uh, found some materials. I'm making this quick and dirty. I brought the fence up here uh, right even with the edge of the, uh, of the miter slot. And I'm going to uh, just butt this up uh, against that and uh, and against the back of the blade. It's not really too critical that this be perfectly square, so I'm good with this. I'm just going to clamp this piece of wood down to the tabletop, uh, slide the runners uh, to the ends here, and uh, then just uh, run a few pilot holes for screws uh, in here and screw that down and we basically will have the jig done. That's the, uh, the jig mostly done. Um, I need to uh, cut a kerf into it uh, right here. I'm going to go in about an inch and then I will draw a, a line uh, 90 degrees to that down this side where I can put uh, drill holes for, for uh, pins for, uh, for the various circles I might end up cutting. Uh, for now, I'm just going to do one at two and a half inch, uh, two and a half inches for two and a half inch radius for that uh, that disc, which will make a five inch disc. Also, this blade is uh, probably a little too thick for uh, for a circle that tight. Um, I'm going to do a test with some scrap wood and leave this on and and see how that goes. I do have a quarter inch. Uh, blade I can put on here. Uh, they say if you're going to uh, going to cut uh, down to about a two inch radius, uh, you want a, a blade that's three eighths of an inch uh, thick or less. So quarter inch would work. Uh, but like I say, I'll see if this is if this will work. I will uh, trim the um, I, I will trim the test piece roughly round to start with, so that uh, there isn't a lot of material waste uh, for for the blade to get bound up in. We'll see how that works. So uh, right now I'm going to uh, 
do that kerf, do the line, put a pin in, do a, do a test cut. Well, there you go. Uh, one quick and dirty circle jig. Uh, that worked great. The big blade had no problem uh, making a circle <laughs> out of that uh, test piece. I wasn't quite five inches wide. That, uh, that test piece was just a hair under five inches wide. So I do have a flat spot here. That won't happen when I do the acrylic. I will cut the acrylic uh, uh, probably five and an eighth by five and an eighth and then rough trim so it can just uh, basically clean around the edges. There's my quick and dirty uh, circle jig done. And like I say, I could do up to a 32 inch circle on this if I wanted to. This nail, of course, that I just hammered in, I'm going to use that for now. Uh, eventually I'll pull that nail out, uh, drill some holes and, and get an actual pin or use a drill bit or something in there. Uh, but for doing what I need to do for the CNC pickup winder, um, this is going to work great. One last thing I'll check is lay this over top of the uh, actual template for the uh, for the bobbin plate, and it's a perfect fit. Thanks for sticking around for this uh, quick and dirty shop jig. Like and subscribe. Uh, leave comments. Uh, check out my band One Soul Thrust. The links, as always, are in the descriptions below. And until the next video, we'll see you.